with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Graphic Design, as well as receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Communications, focused in advertising. He is an active student leader on campus, president of the Kappa Pi Art Honor Fraternity, and most recently named 2015 ASI Student Leader of the Year. <laughs> Having served as the College of the Arts representative, and currently the Chief Communications Officer. Please welcome Jonathan Kwok. Yeah! check that I'm not going to bust my heart rate out in the wrong place. Okay. Whew. Good morning, everyone. Is this... Yes, it's still good morning. Originally, I was going to say, wow, this is early, but you know, we kind of lost track of time. But anyways, hello. Nice to meet you all. I'm Jonathan, and I'm 22 years old, and I am a... Wait. I'm graduating today. this fine institution. Today, alongside my classmates, I will finally complete my five-year plan on obtaining the approval of my professors, the university, and hopefully society that I can somewhat design. Or at least, the very least, on a piece of paper. <laughs> if I could afford to have a hologram, which unfortunately I can't, I would also be at Titan Stadium awaiting my degree in advertising. But that's not important because I personally and secretly find that I rather much love this and find that our college is so much, well, better. And while I'm at this confessing thing, I, um, I don't know how to go with this, but uh, I would like to make a confession today that I, after some serious soul searching and um, after some serious thought, I would like to set the record today that I am I'm not Professor Lawrence Yoon, unfortunately. <laughs> I know that I may look like him, I may probably drive the same car, and he's probably as fabulous as he is, but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not him. Oh, Lawrence, there you are, hi. <laughs> <laughs> but if I can get to that level of expertise in artistry, then I, I would be pretty fulfilled, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, the lyrics to one of my favorite songs goes, all of these lines across my face, tells you a story of who I am. So many stories of where I've been and how I got to where I am. As I got ready today, probably the earliest I've been, up on a Saturday, probably because I didn't sleep at all, uh, that did not involve traveling somewhere, I looked at the mirror and the amazing lessons and memories just flashed by, almost like a movie. And it leaves quite an emotion. And it's quite hard to explain unless you've actually been there, but I'm gonna try. It's kind of like when Friends ended like seven years ago and you're like, what do I do with my life? Or when your favorite bottle of wine ends. Or when somebody finally takes your favorite chocolate and you're like, dude. But this reminded me that we actually learn a lot in our classrooms, our mandatory internships, and the late night solving creative problems. I found that there are three things that CSUF has taught me and believe that all of us actually have learned these lessons. And no, it's not how to avoid a fire drill, where to find free food, or that genius things happen in the shower, like this speech, but let's not go there. <laughs> Whether consciously or not, we are all inherently learners. It is a superpower that we have. It is the ability to learn. It enables us to adapt to situations, skills, and perform with the abilities that may not have been possible once before. We are able to bend time and incredibly bring the future and the past to now through visuals, animation, and to my friends in theater and music, also on stage or with music. I tell you today that we cannot stop learning, for when the decision is made to close ourselves and refuse the opportunity to engage and continually shape our knowledge, wisdom, and sharpen our own lens to the world, that's when the dreams, hopes, and progress will begin to seize. Our world is made of many superheroes. They come in all shapes and sizes, and my friends, you are all one. Now, whether you belong to Marvel or DC, that's your call. Mm -hmm. We thrive in a community. The, this entire experience is like a motion picture movie, and you know, the entire cast are all stars. They are the people around you. Like every character, we must go through something, learn something, 
and all along need people that will help us get there. In most stories, the hero desires to be part of a crowd that usually won't reciprocate the same. If you're still chasing after that, take a second and look. You are already a part of one. It may be few, or maybe a lot, but those are the ones that have and will always have your back and are ready to hold your purse or bag when you need it. I always joke that I hate people, but in all honesty, <laughs> they make life so much more interesting, especially my people. The ones that I can tell, or they can tell me that my work sucks, that I can admit to that I'm extremely jealous of, and to the late night food talks or random adventures of just pure joy. Thank them, love them, and find opportunities to be sensible to those who may need it in return. And for you to give back that energy, support, and life. Cherish people. Let me seize that moment to actually do so myself. To my friends, to my team at ASI, to all my wonderful, talented classmates, Letty, Brandon, Dabble, to my mom, dad, sister, and my entire extended family in Christ, as well as these incredible mentors, teachers like Cheryl, Darren, Daniel, Pat, Joanna, my former assistant dean, Andy, who's been a great mentor, and so much more. Without your care, I cannot be here. Thank you for not giving up on me, or giving up on all of us. I love you and owe all of this to you. This moment is ours. But before I leave, on behalf of the graphic designer, E.P. DeBerry, you are a true boss. Thank you for helping us with our Adobe Creative Suite. Seriously. <laughs> mastery of a certain skill. It is a charge. We are now responsible to uphold the name and the force that is of the arts and artists. We have been standing on the shoulder of giants, that those who came before us have created the ways that we have learned and protected our ability and freedom to human expressions. We are now a new generation of growing giants, from whom we are to continue this pursuit and become the shoulders for a new generation to stand on. I don't know if you do, but I believe in an all-powerful and loving God. One that loves us so much that he sent love down to us and one day for all of us to find. None of this crazy life of mine would make sense and it probably still doesn't, but here's my secret. My joy, my drive, and energy comes from him. Many of us will feel, <laughs> yes. Many of us will feel a sense of accomplishment and fear starting today. Whether you believe or not, I pray that you will get to where you have dreamed and envisioned and endure any planned changes on the way through, as well as find this or some peace that will last forever one day soon. May your studies be the tools, your memories be your solace, and all this give you a smile at the end. The lyrics to that same favorite song of mine, it's true, I was made for you, and God, yes, and to all of you in Fullerton, I hope to make you proud. I firmly believe that art imitates life, so that's true. Let your music move and inspire people to make some of their own. Inspire someone to dance as you dance yourself. Your performance on stage touches someone and encourage all of us to act a little in life too. Because it's a lot more fun when you do it that way. May the many visual works empower and reflect the, the human spirit and for some of us designers, Goodness, can you help that restaurant not use papyrus or comic sans again? It's not pretty. Autograph poster or recital poster, just saying. And before I end, I need to do this on behalf of all my classmates. If you could help me, please raise your right hand. We're going to make a promise today. And just repeat after me. I promise, I promise to never use, use comic sans <laughs> or papyrus <laughs> or any of those fonts inappropriately. <laughs> And to let the graphic designers do their job. <laughs>